Good day everyone, welcome back again to another vlog. On this video, we are going to talk about the proposed learning plan for proficient teachers. This is with regards to the e -Ways Up seminar. At kung hindi nyo pa nagagawa, please like and subscribe. At pakipindot na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify kayo every time may bago tayong video. Salamat! The proposed learning plan that we are going to discuss on this video will focus on the learners in difficult circumstances as shown in the KRA2 of the RPMS tool for proficient teachers. The KRA2 of the RPMS tool for proficient teachers entitled Diversity of Learners and Assessment and Reporting has this objective planned and delivered teaching strategies that are responsive to the special educational needs of learners in difficult circumstances, including geographic isolation, chronic illness, displacement due to armed conflict, urban resettlement or disasters, child abuse, and child labor practices. Ibig sabihin po, a proficient teacher needs to focus on these uh, strategies to accommodate learners in difficult circumstances at kailangan din po itong mapatunayan through the means of verification which is the classroom observation tool, rating sheet, or inter-observer agreement form. So kailangan maipakita natin that we cater, uh, our lessons cater these, lear these kinds of learners. So, as one of our tasks in the uh, recently held Erase Up seminar, we need to create a proposed learning plan as proficient teachers that will show that we accommodate the, these learners in difficult circumstances. A template for this task is again um, provided for us. It is entitled Proposed Learning Plan with four columns. On the first column, we have to put learner description. Second column, we have to identify the grade level. And then on the third column, we have to put the strategies that we are going to use for specific learner and the suggested, the suggested materials on the last column. So, isa-isahin po natin kung paano i-fill out ang bawat column na ito. So, the first column is about the learner's description. Here, we have to include the kind of learner with whom we provide the proposed uh, learning plan for. I-identify natin what specific kind of learner do we want to address our uh, proposed learning plan for. So, wala po tayong ilalagay dito, kundi yung mga different kind of learners na nabanggit natin kanina that fall under the learners in difficult circumstances. So, again, who are these learners in difficult circumstances? Learners in geographic isolation, learners with chronic illness, learners... Displaced due to armed conflict, urban resettlement or disasters, child abuse and child labor practices, and recently added to ating RPMS tools 2020 to 2021, learners who have been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. So, pipili lang po tayo ng isa dyan na ilalagay po natin sa first column ng ating proposed learning plan. Sa second column naman, entitled grade level, ya identify lang po natin what grade level is that student. Third column is about the strategies. On this column naman, we have to identify the kind of strategy that we will use to address the needs of the learner. For example, online learning, modular distance learning, TV radio broadcasting, limited face-to-face, tutorial, and others. So, anong gagamitin natin? We can choose from these examples. Anong gagamitin natin para maturuan yung bata in difficult circumstances? 
And on the last column is the suggested materials. Here we have to identify the materials needed to be able to accomplish the learning plan. Ano ba ang mga kailangan natin para maisakatuparan natin ang learning plan na ito? Ibig sabihin, if you're going to use uh, online teaching, kakailanganin natin ng gadget para sa bata. Kung modular distance learning naman, kailangan makapag-provide tayo ng modules na magagamit ng bata. If we're going to use uh, TV or radio broadcast, we have to make sure na may magagamit yung bata na TV or radio at home. So, that's it for our proposed learning plan for proficient teachers. Sana po ay uh, naintindihan nyo at nakatulong sa inyo. I'll see you on our next video. Bye everyone. Keep safe.